वेलकम बैक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओरिकल जीरो डाउन टाइम माइग्रेशन सो जीरो डाउन टाइम माइग्रेशन इनेबल्स इजी एज वेल एज इफिशियंट माइग्रेशन ऑफ योर ऑन प्रीम डेटा बेस टू ओरिकल क्लाउड इट लेवरेज एज ओरिकल मैक्सिमम एवेलेबिलिटी आर्किटेक्चर सच एस एक्टिव डेटा गार्ड काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज आर गेटिंग यूज टू मिनिमाइज और एलिमिनेट द डाउन टाइम इट्स वेरी कम्प्रीहेंसिव इट इज मार कम्प्लायट इट डज लॉट ऑफ pre checks as well as post checks when building the database and uh, it's a resumable rollbacks are supported and uh, it also provides several customizable workflow uh, as part of the activity migration jobs are in parallel and uh, it maintains the audit trail of the uh, activity so in terms of supported uh, platforms so any database which is 11g or 12c or 18c Uh, they can be migrated with uh, zero downtime uh, migration utility to target platform and uh, you can take uh, any platform like virtual machines or bare metal cloud service or xrata or xrata cloud at customer so you would be able to uh, migrate them using zero downtime migration uh, tool any databases uh, if you are running on oracle uh, cloud infrastructure classic so they can be also brought uh, to Oracle Cloud infrastructure uh, on bare metal or virtual machines on uh, or XR data cloud service by using uh, this tool. So now we will try to understand the step by step uh, migration workflow. It uses uh, four different uh, workflows, and it starts with analysis as well as preparation, where uh, we try to understand the source uh, database environment and uh, gather all the information. Then we work on the migration part. and then switching over and finalizing like if migration is successfully or satisfied you go ahead with uh, doing the application connectivity to new platform to start the first phase you uh, have to download as well as configure uh, gdm for your on prem server you have to configure it and uh, then you would be able to gather all the required information about your on prem database migration then in the second phase we configure the connectivity from your uh, gdm host to your source database as well as target database servers and it is just the sss keys uh, which are provided in order to establish the connectivity once we are connected to source and target now gdm will connect with the source database and the object storage which is there in the cloud and it is just https uh, connectivity uh, to communicate over object storage bucket so once the connectivities are established uh, gdm will start transferring the files from your uh, source to object storage and uh, while transferring these files will be your database backup files uh, your uh, database files backup files as well as any incrementals and they all will get transferred to object storage bucket for communication it is going to use uh, https as protocol so it's secure and uh, file will reach in the object storage bucket once files uh, have reached to object storage bucket gdm is going to instantiate the standby database and uh, standby is uh, instantiated on the target uh, platform uh, with help of all the backup files and uh, database related files which, uh, which are available in the object storage bucket so afterwards gdm is going to leverage the uh, transport file as well as uh, it has inst instantiated the standby database and uh, the target platform is uh, basically built uh, on the oracle cloud infrastructure so once the standby database comes up gdm will try to synchronize primary as well as the standby it, it basically uses the sql starnet connectivity between source as well as target and uh, it does the synchronization between primary and uh, standby databases and it, it is using the data guard technologies to do that so once uh, we are done with synchronizing the target platform gdm can do the switch over and uh, it is able to do the role switch so role swap happens between primary and the standby and uh, then switch over operation uh, can be done as well as finalizes so any users if uh, they are doing this migration they will validate that uh, migrated environment is good for them 
uh, they can uh, finalize based on their will and GDM is keeping the standby database uh, on prem as well as the uh, in the cloud to a synchronized state and user can decide on if they want to stop the process or they have to fall back but it totally depends on the user to accept the migration uh, just to summarizing the total uh, workflow uh, a test process starts with downloading the gdm uh, software connecting to source as well as target uh, making a connectivity to object storage uh, transferring the database files then instantiating a standby and uh, synchronizing both the primary as well as standby environment and then doing the role reversal uh, using switch over capability of data guard and then deciding on like if that's a good migration and they want to proceed on the new platform for more information you can always uh, look into oracle uh, website uh, under go to slash gdm and it talks about the uh, various uh, steps uh, involved in cloud migration one of the best practice switch over is at will so if before switching over it is always desirable to do a proper testing of your new environment as well as the applications once you are done with your testing and then only you should be uh, doing the final switch over because data guard provides you a way you can uh, create a snapshot of standby from there uh, that will open up database in read and write mode you can perform all the activities or testing steps and then you can flash it back and since these uh, jobs are uh, resumable in nature, you, the GDM will take care of synchronizing it back. Once the testing is completed, then um, you'll be able to take a decision on um, to move to or to cloud infrastructure with the new environment. So just to summarize, we have looked at uh, various Oracle database offerings which are available in Oracle Cloud. We uh, discussed about various methods to move to Oracle Cloud as well as uh, different migration scenarios including uh, bare metal, VMs, XRCS or autonomous databases. We discussed about several migration solutions like MB2, ADB and uh, new zero downtime migration tools. Uh, that's all and uh, for more information you can always uh, look into these uh, links which are uh, there on web you can also enroll for certain trainings as well as certification programs and uh, uh, you can explore the OCI training cloudable uh, hands-on lab platform and for more information you can also subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and uh, under Oracle learning you'll be able to see the always the latest videos so thanks for watching and uh, I hope it was useful